Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadgex, and today I'm going to be showing you an application called Keeply. Keeply for iOS protects all of your personal information such as photos, videos, credit card numbers, social security numbers, and the like. So let's open up Keeply to show you guys how it works. So the first time you enter Keeply, you'll be asked to enter a four-digit PIN. I've already entered mine, so I'm going to enter it now to get into the application. And so we're in. Keeply is divided into four different sections, photos and videos, passbook, personal info, and private notes. So I'm going to go into each one and show you guys how it works. So if we go into photos and videos, here you can create your own album to store photos in it. Here you can see one called selfies. So I've put all of my embarrassing selfies in here. If you tap on the green icon at the bottom, you can take a photo at the moment as opposed to going into your gallery. If you tap on the three dash menu up here, you can export and import photos and videos. Uh, move the photos and videos around here and also delete them. Okay, next we've got Passbook. This is where you can enter all of your login information. In case you're forgetful like me, sometimes you know I forget old login credentials. So if I want to create a new one, I just tap on the plus up here. And here you will see a lot of icons for different services such as Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, SoundCloud. Uh, if you don't find your service, you can create your own by tapping here. So I'm going to tap on that one just to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to press OK. And here you can enter the title for the service. You can enter a color. You can enter the username, the email, uh, the password, and the address to your profile. So I'm going to get out of here and show you guys some of the services that I have. If you want to quickly view the username or email and password, just swipe to the right and you'll be able to see it here. Obviously these are fake, but at the top it should show the email and at the bottom it will show the password. If we swipe to the left, you can share it, uh, you can edit the information, and you can delete the service. Okay, next we've got personal info. This is where you can enter things like your social security number, your credit card, work emails, phone numbers. Here there's different icons so that you know what you're entering. You can also choose a color, choose a title such as debit card. Then enter the credit card number. You can tap on add field to add more information. So if you have a debit card, you can enter the expiration date, the number on the back, things like that. As in the last section, you can swipe to the right to quickly view that information. That is not my actual social. And you can swipe right to edit the information and also delete. And finally, we've got private notes. This is for uh, everything else. Here you can put in notes. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign and here you can enter a title and enter all of your note stuff in here and also you can choose a color. If you swipe to the right, you can quickly view all of your information. Okay, and finally now I'm going to show you guys some of the cool features that make this application really great. So if we tap on the gear icon here at the bottom, we can check out some of the security settings. So here you can change your pin. Uh, one of my favorite features is a fake pin. So let's say your SO sees the application on your home screen and ask for the password to go inside of it. You can set a fake pin so that when you open the application with that pin, it's empty. So let's get out of here and I'm gonna go into Keeply and I'm gonna enter the fake pin, which is one, two, three, four. So now when you go in here and try to view, there's nothing in here, nothing in passbook, nothing in photos and videos. And so that way any prying eyes, your SO, whatever, uh, goes inside, they're not going to see anything. And then when they ask, oh, then why do you have a application to password protect your stuff? Then you say, uh, I don't know why you're asking so many questions. Uh, another one of the settings is face down lock. So if we place the phone face down when you're in the app, it will automatically close the application. So if you try to go back in, you have to enter the passcode to get in there. Another cool feature is intruder photo. So anytime that someone enters a incorrect password to try to get into Keeply, uh, their photos will be taken. So let's exit the application and enter a fake passcode. That was wrong. So now I'm going to enter the correct one. Up here you'll get notified that someone tried to get into your application. So let's go into Intruder Gallery. And here you can see photos that were taken of me right now. And finally, the last setting here is that you can back up all of this information onto your computer. All right, well, that's it with Keeply. Uh, for all of you guys that want to hide photos, you know, videos, this is a great way to do it. Obviously, I wish there were built-in features into iOS 8 to do this kind of stuff, but there isn't. So this is the best alternative that there is out there, especially because it's free and it just has a great design. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadget Hacks. All right, thanks, guys.